What's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. We have Oscar De La Hoya in... The, you see the tweet right here. It says, I mean, for, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Because I, I definitely, I got to get in on this, man. De La Hoya, you see the verified check mark. It says, why the fact is the WBC protecting Jamal Charlo? Hasn't made a title defense in 18 months. And guess who's number one? Jaime Montgomery. Let's go. Says, why the fact? So, so, De La Hoya, since you're wondering why the fact, I mean, uh, the, the, the WBC is protecting Jamal Charlo, which I just, I just did a video about. Y'all go check that out because, you know, I definitely, I do, I do agree. Um, I don't like when fighters uh, hold a belt hostage. It's like if they're not active or anything like that, I do agree that Jamal Charlo should be stripped and become a champion at recess. And once he get his situation cleared outside of the ring, then he should definitely come back and fight for that title, right? I do agree with that. However, however, Mr. De La Hoya, since you have questions, I have questions as well. Speaking of protection, you've been a great condom for Jaime Montgomery, because you've definitely been protecting him from a lot of people that want him, right? All right? You've definitely protected him. So, so why the fuck has Jaime Montgomery passed up two opportunities to fight for the WBO? If you wanted Jaime Montgomery, if you wanted Jaime Montgomery to fight, get a title so bad, why the fuck did you let him pass up two opportunities? You don't believe me? Come on, man. You know I got receipts. Let's go ahead. Let's, let me go ahead and do the research for you guys. You guys sit back and relax. Let me do the research. <laughs> and let's go ahead and get this thing started. Shout out to Boxing News 24-7. It said, Eddie Hearn's question why Munguia won't fight Demetrius Andre. It says, promoter Eddie Hearn is stomping mad about highly ranked uh, Jaime Munguia choosing not to challenge WBO middleweight champion Demetrius Andre for his title. For his title, I mean, you guys hear that? For Demetrius Andre's title. Demetrius Andre was the WBO middleweight champion. Jaime Magia was his mandatory, and Jaime Magia chose not to fight him or De La Hoya, whatever. Magia has won five fights since moving up to 160 in 2020, but his opposition has been less, imp less than impressive. Magia has chosen not to use his mandatory status at 160 pounds to challenge the WBO champion for his, Demetrius Andre for his title and Hearn is not happy about it. Hearn has been given grief by boxing fans for not for him not setting up big fights for the un, unbeaten uh, Demetrius Andre, who at the time was 31 and 0 with, tw uh, with I'm sorry with 19 knockouts. But there is nothing he can do about it when you've got contenders like Jaime Munguia choosing not to use his mandatory status to fight for a title. Do you hear that? He's choosing. He chose not to use his mandatory status to fight for the WBO title, which would have been against him and Demetrius Andre. This is from Eddie Hearn's mouth. This is from Eddie Hearn's mouth. Everyone says, when are we going to get Demetrius Andre the big fight? The zone is saying it. Uh, said Eddie Hearn to the Zone Boxing Show in reaction to Hami Mangia's win over Dimitri, uh, Demetrius Bellard. Why does no one say to Hami Mangia or Golden Boy, why don't you fight Demetrius Andre for the world world uh, middleweight title? Hearn continued. So you see, Hearn is saying they, they're telling their question because he had an, he was Demetrius Andre's mandatory and he chose not to fight. They didn't want to fight. Why do you think Jaime Mangia? This is what this is what uh, Eddie Hearn is saying. Why do you think Jaime Mangia and Golden Boy will not fight Demetrius Andre? What has boxing become? So th th this this is this is I mean come on come on uh, De La Hoya come on bro. You can't put out a blank. You you they, they, come on now. You contradicting yourself, my guy. You making it too easy to work against. But wait, there's more. All right, so we have once again. It says Jaime Montgomery once again, once again. You know what again means? Redo, do over, repeat. Once again, turns down order title fight with Janovic for the WBO. All right, it says, Jaime Montgomery's free fall to irrelevant looks to continue a pace as he tells ESPN Salvador Rodriguez that he turned down 
the WBO's recent order to challenge Janovic for their middleweight title. So again, this man has turned this man had two opportunities to fight for the WBO title and he turned it down or De La Hoya, whichever, turned it down. They then turned it down, but all of a sudden De La Hoya wants to oh, oh okay. 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 Like come on, man. This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. It, it, continue, it says, even if you want to heap the blame on Mangia's team for this garbage, he's gone along with it every step of the way. It's in terms of absolutely destroying his own stock this year. He's going right. It says he's going right up there with Josh Taylor. Wow. But that's a valid point. Even if you want to blame his team. Even if you want to blame his team, he still is. He, at the end of the day, he's the man in charge. His team works for him. He's still going along with this this uh this this, this ducking or avoiding that he's been doing. So I, I don't want to well, this is team because I I don't believe he's afraid. But his team is the one that man. Come on, bro. Like he's still going along with what his team what his team is doing. So. With, with all that being said, my thing is you had two opportunities to fight for the belt and you chose not to. So now all of a sudden you want to question the WBC as to why Jaime Mangia, well, basically Jaime Mangia is not getting his title shot or whatnot, right? He, he doesn't not. Why is he not uh, 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 affording the opportunity to get that belt, bro? Well, you, you got to question yourself. Look, I, the biggest name on Jaime Mangia's re- resume, I guess you can now you can now say Liam Smith since Liam Smith just came off of a um, victory over uh, uh, a victory over um, Chris Chris Eubank. All right, but since he's been at middleweight, right? Since since Jaime Mangia has has been at middleweight, let's look at the guys that he's fought. Right? You got. Let me see here. You got. Toriano, Toriano, well, you got, first you got Gary O'Sullivan, all right, God has been already uh, beat, he just, like, nobody, they, nobody thinks of him as a, even a B-level fighter, all right, you got Toriano Johnson, again, another C-level fighter, C- Camille says Meta, another C-level fighter, uh, Gabriel Rosado, probably the biggest name that he's fought at middleweight, all right, Demetrius Ballard, who the fuck is that guy, all right, then you got Jimmy Jimmy Kelly. Who the fuck is that guy? I know Connor. My, my man, see my dude Connor be on point. Then you got Gonzalo, Gonzalo Gaston Coria. Who the fuck is that guy? So, Mr. De La Hoya, bro, if anybody is being protected, it seems as though your boy Jaime Mangia is being protected. As you didn't want him to fight Demetrius Andre, as you didn't want him to fight uh Zanabek. And 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 that you know, ironically, he's not the first person to be a, a mandatory challenger, but but basically duck the title list that he's a mandatory for. Because Ryan Garcia did the exact same thing with Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory, but for the longest. But did not want to fight Devin Haney. So it's like, bro, for the life of me, this is like a golden boy thing, right? Because, matter of fact, come to think of it, damn, who else was golden boy signed with but didn't, but, but was not fighting anybody up until recently? Uh, Gilberto Ramirez, another golden boy fighter who had a built up record fighting nobody, even though he was with top rank at first. He did fight Jesse Vargas with, uh, with top rank, but when, since he's been with Golden Boy, up until his fight with Dimitri uh, Bivol, the, the man, uh, the man has not fought anybody. Now De La Hoya, when you was fighting, when and, and we and we saw what happened when when he fought Dimitri Bivol, all right. But when De La Hoya, when you was fighting, bro, you fought everybody. You fought everybody, De La Hoya. So why you don't have your? Why don't you hold your state, your 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 fighters to the same standards as you? Oh, I know, I know. You running low on? Okay. All right, well, I sure hope you don't do this with Terrence Crawford, bro, because, and, you know, but now that Ter- if, if Terrence Crawford does sign with Golden Boy, I promise y'all we're definitely not getting uh, Errol Spence and um, Terrence Crawford. I already kissed that fight g- goodbye, but you can go ahead and throw that, throw that issue in the trash now because that's definitely not going to happen, all right? So, you know, this is just my opinion, man. Like, let me know what you guys think about what De La Hoya has to say about this. <laughs> 
Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, man. What do you want to see next from De La Hoya and his fighters? But what do I know?